you gotta take a break every once in a while and go bother the spouse in whatever they're doing, right? <laughs> Just came back from Warren's over at the Arizona Homestead Project. Been consulting with him on this project. And I was like, hey, I think I'm gonna add some concrete in addition to these concrete piers. And he was like, Jim, I got your back. I got a whole bunch of extra concrete here that I'm not gonna be using right away. He let me pick this up at what it cost him. And I think we're ready to get this thing weighted down just right. Good morning, everyone. It is yet another day. <laughs> little bit of clouds. A little chilly. Check out these mountains over here. You gotta see this. A lot of clouds rolling over the mountains. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the sights we have to deal with over here, unfortunately. Ugh. Beautiful mountains. The other day, uh, not too far north from here, they were uh, snow-capped. That was pretty wild. <laughs> but work continues here on our rain roof. We are making progress, but plans have changed. Plans have changed. We're about, we're about to get serious on this piece. Before we were playing, we were playing. Now, I don't think our foundation wasn't quite right, so we're changing things up a bit. We got that load of uh, concrete, and let me show you what's going on, what we're gonna do with it. So in addition to the concrete, we'll also be getting gravel here. It's a little bit windy. Hopefully you can hear me. You should be able to hear me okay. Hopefully the wind isn't too distracting. But we should be also getting a load of gravel today and that should be exciting. And this is what we're doing with our holes. So before we were just kind of playing around. We were just kind of making these holes just kind of just big enough for these piers. But that's not probably not going to be sufficient. That's just not good building practice. So what we're doing now is we're actually going deeper and wider size of that hole. Yeah, we're gonna stop playing around with these things. We're gonna make them deeper, wider, and we're going to put a layer of, at least a layer of four inches of gravel at the bottom of these things. Once we get that layer of gravel on there, in there, then we are also going to concrete. We're gonna add more concrete. At least one bag per hole, but maybe more, just to fill this up, because these holes are kind of big now. <laughs> so that's what I'll be working on today. That's more digging. I'm going to just widen and deepen these holes. And these, these are gonna be impressive holes. Trust me on this. <laughs> The delivery guy is just leaving right now, but he delivered six tons of three quarter inch crushed gravel. That's gonna make the base under the cement just that much stronger, sturdier, be able to hold that much more weight. Uh-oh, where is it? <laughs> uh, this thing's gonna be real sturdy. So we're out here, we're still digging. Jessica's busting butt over there. Hey, what's up girl? What you doing? Digging. Digging holes, that's... But it's going faster this time because, you know, it's just all about depth. It's all about getting in there, getting this thing a little deeper. Still windy, still cloudy, but we're getting it done. Let's take a look at crew. <laughs> Crew's all tied up, isn't it? He didn't care for that. He wants to roam free. Crew down. <gasps> hey, buddy. All right, it's getting late, getting late. <laughs> Check out this sunset. It doesn't look as amazing as I see it, but there it is. Whoa. Pew. 
Sometimes the colors can be pretty vibrant on these sunsets here in Arizona. Uh, both the uh, sunrises and sunsets can just be phenomenal. Then with the mountains too, forget about it, forget about it, it's beautiful. But I am working late into the evening, so it's gone through a couple iterations, the plan, but we just, we just absolutely want to make sure this thing is sturdy. And I think we're getting to that point. I think it's going to be really solidly built. But yeah, I am losing light, but I am going to try and work as late as I can. I want to bring out the lantern and work by lantern light for a little bit, I think. I'm going to see how that goes. What's up? This is not going to work for filming anything. You're not going to see. Oh, ah. Well, the work is still going, slowly but surely. Another windy day. It's been windy for days, so it is cold, windy, but the work has got to go on. <laughs> this happened yesterday toward the end of the day. I had a slightly new pair of pants, at least new to me, and uh, yeah, it just ripped. I can't have pants for too long without them tearing up. So we're up for the next round of digging. Kind of the third time we've gone over these holes. <laughs> but you gotta get it right, right? It's going a lot faster this time. It's kind of hard clay soil. So I'm using a combination of this spearhead spade and a combination of my, uh, my poking stick. Have you seen the poking stick? This bar, I call this my second post hole digger because it does a pretty good job of getting into the soil and breaking it up. It's definitely not the easiest of work, but uh, it's difficult. You're outside, it's cold, it's windy. But uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade this for anything. I wouldn't trade it for going back to my original job. There hasn't been a time out here where, even under the most dire of circumstances, <laughs> where we like had no power or anything like that, and we're running off a generator. There was not one point where I was like, man, I wish I could go back to my old job. <laughs> you ever notice uh, how you get down to work and then you're like, where? Oh, here it is. Tape measure. <laughs> I'm like, where is it? Everything's around you, but you can't find anything. I still got a ways to go on this, but uh, I've been working on this for a couple of days now and I'm making pretty good progress. I've kind of been out here for uh, most part of my own. Jessica's got some uh, other projects that she's got to get to. With the little update on the contest, uh, we've now been contacted by both winners, so uh, both of those projects are going to be getting underway soon. Jackie, if you're watching, that t-shirt should be on the way. <laughs> Doing this kind of work, and it's actually really peaceful. It gives you time to contemplate. So that really got me thinking about the special connection between people and the earth. If there are any gardeners out there, people that build with earth, I don't have to tell you, you know about the special connection that you feel if you're out in the garden, if you're digging in the soil, working the earth. I was thinking about that because I'm feeling that connection right now. I think there's a special bond between people and uh, the soil and the earth. And as I'm digging these holes, I'm learning a lot. Not only am I learning about this particular hole, but I'm learning about some of the soil. I'm gonna get, get a pretty good idea of how the soil works from just one this one end to the other. So yeah, would I, has there ever been a time where I said, man, I wish I could go back? No. Being out here working, I mean, you can't get closer to the land than this, am I right? <laughs> I just think down the line, as we keep cultivating the land, keep working with it, growing, building. I'm just kind of wondering where this relationship between us and this land will go. And I'm excited to see that. In the meantime though, I gotta finish this hole. <laughs> I'm getting close. Where am I at? I gotta talk to the camera more often because now I'm about an inch away. <laughs> thanks, thanks for helping me kill some of this time. Oh yeah, another hole bites the dust.
take a little minute, see what Jess is up to, huh? <laughs> I don't know about any of you guys, but if you're a couple working on the homestead, working in a garden, wherever, you gotta take a break every once in a while and go bother the spouse in whatever they're doing, right? <laughs> Harassment time. She knows, I give her a warning, she knows that I'm coming. So we are here, I have to get at just the right angle because I cannot show what she's working on. This is top secret. I wish I could show you, I wish I could show you. It's beautiful, but I can't. She's working hard over here. I, I can assure you though that this piece is beautiful. She's busy, she's focused, you can see that. She's, she didn't got time to play around. She got a time to play around, I don't either. So with that last hole I just finished digging, 24 more holes. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I gotta get back to work. Weather's getting a little worse out here. Clouds have rolled in, and we are getting a lot of wind and hail. <laughs> oh, hail, no. Uh, after I finish off these last three, three holes, we'll be caught up to where we were before when we were uh, digging. So now the rest of these holes, they'll be widened and go deeper. So, we're almost back to where we were. <laughs> All right, so I'm back in. Evening time, sun is setting. We got a bunch of work done today. And yeah, just to reiterate, plans, plans have changed and they've changed because of suggestions from people. We've gotten suggestions down in the comments below and we've been reading those and we were thinking, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. We get lots of tips and we appreciate it. So plans changed a little bit. Just just because watching me. She's watching me vlog. Do you guys say vlog or vlog? Leave that down below. Wanna hear about that? I've heard it. You guys ever watched Dari Hilder? Vlog, she called it. Nothing wrong with it. So someone suggested the gravel, and this is gonna do four things for us. It's gonna increase the load-bearing capacity because the soil, as just the soft clay soil, has about a 2,000 pound rating per square foot, but with the gravel, that's gonna up that to 12,000 pounds per square foot. It will help us level level things a little better. It'll provide for better drainage. Yeah, and if there's any shifting of the concrete, that might help keep that uh, concrete stable. <laughs> if the concrete cracks, it'll provide a little stability for that as well. Did I mess it up again? Okay, excuse me, everyone. It'll provide really good stability. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know how long this is going to be. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, the extra concrete. So the concrete piers uh, with the, the gravel, again, could be, could be stable enough, but uh, it's been brought up, hey, you know what, you might need extra weight. And we're thinking, you know what, that's true, we might need extra weight on there. We might need just a little bit more just to keep those down. So we're probably going to put at least one bag of concrete per per pier, uh, but as big as these holes are, we might need more than that. I'm not sure, but it'll at least have one, and then that'll go in there, and then we're gonna we're gonna bolt it on. It's gonna be real nice and tight. For now, it's digging, and I think we've been uh, how many how many holes have we been getting been able to get done per day? It probably depends. Jessica's good for half a hole a day. I think I've been able to get like five of them done a day. We won't, we won't. What a number, right? So I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll take too much longer to, to get these done. Uh, maybe a couple more days. I'm hoping within a couple more days we can get those, uh, the gravel and the concrete in there. Maybe we'll get some updates on this a little quicker, a little bit more than just once a week. <laughs> Look at this. I don't even have that much of a beard. I'm doing my Fu Manchu thing with it. Can you imagine if I were like one of those, uh, one of the guys from the Kung Fu movies? I would totally be doing that. I'd totally be flipping my long beard around. <laughs> <laughs> 
Speaking of, speaking of kung fu movies, have you seen our kung fu t-shirt, Kung Fu Farming? Today's sh the shirt of the month is our kung fu farming shirt. But And it says, your conventional industrial style is no match for my no-till polyculture style. Oh yeah, if you know kung fu movies, you know what that line's all about. Shameless t-shirt plug. Mm. And don't forget, so since, you know, we got that t-shirt over there, there's gonna be a discount. What? Check out the discount code down below. We're gonna leave that in the in the description. Get your own kung fu farming. Please just give this video a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We'd love to see you. We'd love to have you around. Leave a comment. Leave a comment below. We love all your comments. Let us know you stopped by. If you have any suggestions, leave them down because it's helping us out big time out here. Share this with a friend or two because they love water harvesting. Oh yeah. It's going to be awesome. We're on our way to water security and it is a beautiful thing. And as always, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks a lot, everyone. We appreciate you stopping by. Catch you in the next video. <gasps> Should I do the camera slap? Camera slap close. It's kind of like, kind of like the Blair Witch Project. I'm so sorry. I got us all into this. <laughs> You ever see the Blair Witch Project? It's an oldie but a goodie. I liked it. This is so weird. Alright, later everyone.